Today we are going to start revision 1a from book 5a. So let's start. In this chapter, we have the complete revision of chapter 1, numbers up to 10 million, chapter 2, 4 operation, chapter 3, introduction to algebra, and chapter 4, fraction. So we have all the four chapters combining in the revision 1a and 1b. So today we are going to solve these two revisions. Let's start. Question number one is which write each of the following numbers shown in numeral and invert. It means you have to write them into numbers. Numeral means in numbers and then inwards means spelling. So here we have once zero because we don't have any number here we have the counting in ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh so on so here we have zero in ones zero in tens zero in hundred and then in thousand we have one two three four five six seven seven thousand and then we have ten thousand one two three and then we have hundred thousand one now we have to write this into international and pakistani so first in international we have to write this as 137000 in international we read this as 100 and in pakistani we read this as 1 lakh 1 lakh 37000 same as it is number b 2 million 150146 1 2 3 4 5 6 one two three four one one two three four five but these are ten thousand we don't have thousand here so thousand zero then hundred thousand again zero then million two million fifty thousand one hundred and forty six in pakistani we did million as twenty lakh two million means twenty lakh after 1 lakh, 2 lakh, we move to tens. In tens, we read this as 20. 20 lakh, 50,146. Number C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we have 9 tens. 100,000, 10,000, 0, 0, 0. And then we have 1,000, million. 1, 2, 3, 4 million. So we are going to write this as 4 million 95 and in Pakistani we write this million as 40 lakh 40 lakh 99 same as it is number 2 is write in numerals here we have the spelling we're given inwards are given and we have to write this inwards into numerals or number 300 and 65,631 31 600 65,000 65,000 and 3 again we have 85 we are going to write from the end side of the inwards so we can easily arrange the numbers 85 we don't have the number 100 here, so here we have to write 0, then 12,000, then we have 8 lakh. Same as it is, we have to write the remaining 1,940,766, 30 lakh 15,002. Here we have the numbers and we have to write the numbers into international system 496,846 here we have the number we have to write this in Pakistani numbers 5,11,209 same as it is we have to done this number 4 is fill in the missing numbers so first is 2 then 3 is 30 then 3 is 300, then 2000, then 20,000, then 300,000. Same as it is, we have 750 is already done. The remaining numbers are 705. 
here we have 930 it's already done then 48,000 it's already done the remaining is 4 million or 40 lakh here we have the remaining is 60,000 here we have on page number 92 fill in the blanks a bus can ferry about dash people so we have the total number of people 444 four, four. so we are going to add all the numbers so the answer is but if we have to write the estimate that how many people can be in the bus so it is 40 a maximum number of people now here we have again the national stadium has a capacity of dash people so we add all the numbers and the capacity is here but according to the estimate 50,000 is in the total capacity of national stadium now here we have seven digit cards are given as shown here are the cards answer the following question form the greatest possible five digit odd number so the five digit odd number is 97543 form the smallest possible six digit number 123457 is the smallest possible digit, six digit number an odd number or an even it is an odd number because the last digit is seven here we have find the hcf of 42 and 154 so here is the hcf two twos are four two ones are two two sevens are 14 one here two sevens are 14 now seven threes are 21 seven elevens are 77 now we don't have any common factor between 3 and 11 so we have to stop the hcf here so the hcf of 42 and 154 is 2 and 7 2 7 the 14 here we have to take the lcm least common multiple here we have solved the factor then we have to multiply all the numbers and the answer is 924 here we have to write the blanks with 10, 100 and 1000. How we are going to find that the number is 10, 100 or 1000? We just have to check the zero. Here you can see 998, 998, 00. 20 means 100. Here we have 10. It means we divide this number with 10. Here we have 30. It means we multiply this number with 1000. Here we have 20, we divide this number with 100. Same as it is, we have to write the multiple. If we multiply the number with 10, we just have to add a 0. If we multiply a number with 100, we just have to write 20. Same as it is, we just have to write the 0 and write the answers. If we multiply the number with 1000, we add 30 to the number. Same as it is, we just have to write the zero and solve the answers. Now here we have 18 with 300. So the easiest method is we just have to separate 18, 3 and then 100. So first we have to multiply this 18 with 3. 3. So the easiest method is 18 multiplied by 3. 18 3 is a 54 now we have to add 20 with 54 same as it is here we have 470 multiplied by 20 470 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10 when we multiply 470 with 2 the answer is 940 and 940 multiplied by 10 is 9400 it means we just have to add a 0 so here we have 200 means 2 multiply 100 6000 means 6 multiplied by 1000 same as it is 5099 and 10 number 10 page number 95 here we have to divide in division we have to cut the zero in multiplication we add the zero in division we just simply cut the zero here we have three zeros we just cut three zeros so the answer is 90 here we cut a single zero 
688. Here we cut two zeros, so the answer is 17. 3 zero, 43. Then 1 zero, then 2 zero. Now here we have 400, means 4 and then 100. First we have to divide this. 3 to 4 zero with 4. Then we have to cut 2 zero. Same as it is, we have to solve all the questions.